Welcome to the Cuesta Library. Today we're talking about the differences between Google and library databases. Is one better than the other? No, not really. Both are useful, but it is important to know when we should use Google and when it might be better to use databases. So let's jump right in. You can think of Google as a good starting point. You can definitely find reliable, useful information with Google. It's a great place to get background information on a topic or find statistical data. But you'll need to have excellent evaluation skills to be sure you're accessing reliable websites. Google is looking across the entire internet to retrieve results. So you're definitely going to get a lot of information coming from all sorts of different sources. Some will be reliable, some won't. Another important point about Google. Free access to information is limited. What I mean is that Google will only give you free access to what companies and people have made available to the public. This is great when you're shopping online or checking movie times, but it is restricting when you need to find reliable information for research. Consider this example. If you visit the Los Angeles Times website, you may be able to read one or two articles. After that point, you will need to purchase a subscription to read more. Why is access to information limited on Google? Well, many publishers want to be paid for their copyrighted content. So you'll eventually have to pay for access to newspaper articles, journal articles, and more. On the other hand, when you use library databases, you have free access to scholarly articles, magazines, newspapers, books, and videos. Why is it free? Libraries have purchased databases and made them free for students. Also, unlike Google, all materials in databases are evaluated for accuracy and credibility by subject experts and publishers, and they are reviewed and updated regularly. So it's a great place to find reliable information. Another difference between Google and databases is the way we search. Google uses natural language processing, so we can talk to Google the same way we talk to each other, and it should always understand. This is so convenient. I can type or speak a full sentence, and Google should understand. I can ask, who was the first president of the United States? And I'll get an immediate answer. Databases, on the other hand, use more precise keyword searching meaning you must use keywords to ask a question instead of typing out a full sentence. It might take time to determine the best keywords to use when database searching, but once you do, you'll get results that are closely related to your search needs. Another searching difference you may notice are advanced searching options. Google offers some advanced searching options, but most people don't need to use them to find what they're looking for. However, you'll almost always want to use database advanced searching options, also called limiters, to narrow your search results by date, by format, by peer review status, and so much more. The last difference I'll mention is that Google tracks its users and uses ads based on what they're searching for. Library databases do not track users or use ads. This means that you can access quality information in a non-commercial environment, avoiding advertisements and clickbait. Google and databases can be useful depending on your needs. It's important to know how they work and when you should be using them. And no matter which one you choose for your research, always be sure to evaluate sources for accuracy and credibility. If you need help navigating databases, contact a Cuesta librarian today.